Welcome back, or if you're new, welcome. We would love to have you subscribe. From the title of this video, you guys already know what's about to happen. We're about to clean my entire house. So this day that I filmed this was a Monday, and we had a super busy weekend. We were gone a lot, and then Sunday we just relaxed, and I did not do any dishes or clean anything. So we have a full sink of dishes. So I'm unloading the dishwasher, and then I'm going to get it loaded back up and get my kitchen clean first. If only I could blow away The air, the clouds up in our sky can see that I keep looking up at my windowsill it's because I had my phone sitting up there and I was watching Jess fam I think it was Jess fam at the time I watched a couple YouTube videos while I was doing the dishes I like to watch them when I do the dishes and when I fold laundry and also when I put my makeup on because I don't really have time any other time to just like sit down and watch YouTube videos so that's pretty much the only time I get to get to watch a couple videos a couple things by hand my dish soap dispenser and my dish soap and my hand soap right there and that hand sanitizer right there is all from Grove Collaborative I just have been using the Grove Collaborative brand um, like the refillable soap dispenser dish soap dispenser and hand soap dispenser over there and then that little wooden pedestal is always linked in my description box I get questions about that all the time but it's from box wooden binkies she has an Etsy shop and an Instagram so that is linked below and then as far as Grove Collaborative goes I do have a link in the description box if you guys want to check that out if you're a new customer they are always giving away awesome free stuff so definitely check that out if you haven't yet um, and then the sponge that I'm using, one of my subscribers sent it to me, it's a scrub daddy sponge, coolest thing ever. If you use cold water, it's like super hard. And then if you use warm water, it like softens up a little bit, but it scrubs really well either way. So super cool.
So now I'm just spraying some Clorox bleach into my sink. It definitely helps keep it white and I'm just gonna scrub it down and rinse it out and then I'm also gonna wipe down my windowsill. Just wiping that down with the Mrs. Myers and the Orange Club scent from the Winter Collection. all of these pots and pans and stuff that I washed by hand dried off and put away so I can get my counters wiped down. Just you, just you. Oh, oh. I 
did it wrong and you did it right yeah, That's what you said when you started the fight We came to an end that put up this fence But do you really mean that this is the end? One, two, three years of silence Then four, five, six Now that I've got everything wiped down I'm gonna vacuum the floors in the kitchen And I get questions about my vacuum all the time so I do always have my vacuum linked down below. I have a few different vacuums. I do have a Dyson, the V7 uh, Motorhead, I think is what it's called. And then Shark also sent me this vacuum a few months back. And they also sent me a cordless vacuum, which I've since given to a family member because I don't need three vacuums. <laughs> and this upright Shark, it's the Shark Apex with Duo Clean, is my favorite out of all three of the vacuums that I had. Um, this is my absolute favorite one. It has so many different functions and comes apart in so many different ways and it's just like the most functional for my my house and like the different types of flooring that we have and we have a black lab and a cat and all that stuff. So highly, highly, highly recommend this vacuum. Not being paid to say that. They did send it to me, but I didn't have to like share it or anything. I just absolutely love it. So like I said, that is linked to the description box as well. To be numb, but I can't even fall asleep until the dawn. If there's no love, then there's no lust. Whatever. And now I'm gonna go in with my Shark Steam Mop. This thing is awesome. I also have a spin mop that I like to use from time to time, but this thing sanitizes and like disinfects with by just using water and steam and it does a really good job but sometimes I like to bleach my floors so I'll use my spin mop for that um, but I got this on Amazon I have it linked to my Amazon shop if you guys are looking for it um, I think you can find it in stores too I'm not really sure I haven't ever really looked but it was super inexpensive on Amazon So while I was mopping the kitchen, I had a like Pyrex measuring dish thing in the microwave with vinegar and water and I microwaved it for five minutes and it just like gets all of the stuck on nasty stuff in your microwave to loosen up so it's super easy to wipe down in my microwave was so gross because something exploded in there and it needed to be cleaned out. So that's what I'm doing here, just wiping it all out. But I used to like scrub my microwave when stuff like that would happen and then I saw this little hack and it makes it so much easier because the vinegar and the water like gets hot and steams up in there and it seriously makes it so easy to just wipe it clean. So then I washed the little spinny thing and the tray, the plate uh, by hand. I'm not in love. Okay, so now moving on to my laundry room. This is also like our mud room where we come in the house and it gets so dirty. We had gone to the beach um, like a week before this and everyone came in and their shoes got sand everywhere and I had not cleaned it up because I mean priorities, like the rest of my house was a priority during the week. So I'm finally getting around to super duper cleaning the laundry room. I'm gonna wash the rugs, everything. This is also where the dog's food and water is, so it just gets so dirty in here so quickly. So I'm going to vacuum everything and get everything wiped down in here too.
room. I'm just going to pick everything up, wipe everything down. This little tray gets dirty really easily. I keep like our soap, hand soap and lotion on there. Um, but I just keep a little scrubber with dish soap in it under the sink and I use that to scrub out the sink and wipe that thing down and it's just super handy to just keep in the bathroom because we have three kids and like you know how kids are with toothpaste so I pretty much wipe out the sink that way every day. <laughs> it makes it so much easier but I'm just using the Method antibacterial um, cleaner in the bathroom and I got the sink wiped down a little bit and then Berkeley had to come in and go potty. So after that, I sprayed the toilet down with the anti-vac so it could sit for a few minutes while I finished wiping down the counters. And then I'll go back and clean the toilet. And right here, I just took her little potty seat and put it in the bathtub and sprayed it with the antibacterial cleaner and let it sit. And then I ended up just rinsing that off, but I forgot to film that part. But it's super easy to do it that way. You just throw it in the bathtub and let it sit for a few minutes and rinse it off and then it's clean and good to go. We lock eyes and you smile. Every single memory comes back to life. So right here I'm just using the Grove Collaborative Glass Cleaner. It comes in a concentrate and you just put it in a glass spray bottle and then fill the rest with water and it works super well. And now that that antibacterial spray has set for a few minutes, I'm gonna go back in and wipe everything down. And then I have the Clorox bleach, like the wand, to clean the inside of the toilet, and I'm gonna do that as well. vacuum and steam mop. everything that is on the table and there was tons of crumbs from the kids eating lunch that day so I'm gonna wipe my dining room table down with the method wood for good cleaner then I'm gonna vacuum this whole area and my whole living room as well
When I'm down, you pick me up You and me, we shiny dust And we won't ever get enough They don't know They don't know In your eyes, I put my trust now moving into Berkeley's room, I'm just going to make her bed and then run the vacuum on the rug in here. They don't know. We'll never know. When the rain hits hard on my window, when the night's too dark, you're my hero. When the troubles come, we can live. So the boys didn't have school on this day, so you can see Brody stayed in his PJs all day long. But now we're just gonna head to the playroom and I'm gonna help the boys get their art supplies picked up. And then they're gonna pick up the blankets and the pillows and just get things straightened up before we make their beds and straighten up their bedroom. And they can't ever make us stop it. Come take my hand, get on this rocket. back into Berkeley's room and I've got a small load of laundry that I'm gonna get folded but my bed is usually where I fold my laundry but my comforter was in the dryer so I still needed to make my bed um, which I'm gonna do after this because it's actually my quilt that was in the dryer and that was finished when I was done folding this laundry so once I get this done we're gonna head into my bedroom and get my bed made Keep telling me stay on the low I'll be better off burning slow I should learn how to get back in line But I'm gonna take what's mine Shake me, you can try and break me But baby you got it right
right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's cleaning video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did. And if you're new here, we would love to have you subscribe and be part of the Casper family. So just click the red button. Make sure your notifications are on so you guys are seeing our videos. We post every single day. I hope this video gave you guys some motivation to get your house cleaned up. It feels so good after you're done. Thank you guys so much again, and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Shake me, you can try. Life is so long, baby.